Hey y'all, today it's all about me, you know? Just me. Because no your else. ego is so high because you own a Mustang now, eh? It's Mustang Crew. And we're gonna go into this 2019 Mustang GT and what I like about it. All right, so first thing that I like about this car, 100% is the looks of the car. They've always had an aggressive look to them. They've always been really nicely put together in the sense of the aerodynamicy, maybe not back in the day, but nowadays the aerodynamicy is amazing. And the first thing I kind of want to start with is the cuts in the lights. Honestly, those three slits there that have the lights are an amazing look for this car. But with the aftermarket, you can get the DRL kit so you can actually change the color of these lights as well to anything through your phone, Bluetooth. And that's a really good look to it. I don't think I would do it for the actual ring because I think they do have like a, a halo light for it as well. I wouldn't personally do that because I think that's too much for a car. But I know some people like those types of things. Another thing on, on the part of the first is the aggressiveness to the car. Honestly, they did a really good for the 2015s and these newer models, the S550s, they did in a very good aggressive look you get a nice black honeycomb grill which looks fantastic with the the color difference of either the blue and the whites honestly other of any other color you pick with the pp1 package you get the the splitter at the front here now it's it's really nice it adds a nice little bit of aggressiveness to it with the pp2 package you get an extra splitter with it which adds an extra extra aggressiveness and for me that's a little too much so that's why i went with the pp1 package it also gives you other performance upgrades which i will talk in the second thing why i like it which is power delivery and the way it runs definitely on to number two is the power from stock like I'm amazed at this thing with the five liter engine no turbo no nothing just naturally aspirated it kicks out 460 horsepower with 410 or 420 pounds of torque that's a crazy amount of delivery like I was surprised when I first got in it I didn't expect the way it ran and it actually pushed you back into the seat in the cluster it tells you the g-force that you put on the acceleration the fastest I've done is 1.2 G's in the first stock car for me that's amazing so as an addition to the power part number two of why I like this is because of Ford performance now Ford has always had their own racing program for quite a long time. They've been in NASCAR, as you can see in the Ford versus Ferrari. They've been in NASCAR for a while, but then when they really went to Le Mans, they started really getting their racing history going. Ford Performance has great options for an upgrades to this car, which do not break warranty because you can go through a Ford Performance shop that actually tunes the car for you. Now you can get a Roush kit because Roush is also one of the uh, partners with Ford Performance. And there is a Roush kit that I would be planning to do this. It's like a anywhere from a $19,000, $24,000 kit, but it gives you all the cooling, a supercharger, it gives you looks, badges, it gives you everything that you want in it. It brings you up to 750 horsepower. Now, none of the things on that kit were for internals, which is why this engine, and back to the first the, the, of number two, is the power that this thing can give you. It is amazing built engine from stock. By the way, I don't know if you guys have done this already, but you need to click the subscribe button and the notifications bell because you're definitely gonna wanna know when I this thing up hard. <laughs> so the third thing that I do like about this car is the way it handles. Now, I've taken this thing to the track twice now and those are gonna be already out and you can click up here for the YouTube video if you want. This thing is amazing at handling. I didn't expect it when I used to have my Jenny. I was always saying, oh, Mustangs crash all the time. And, and that whole stereotypical of Mustang in your Mustang. But when I really got in it, it really takes the road, streets or track. As you just saw, the Brembo kits are one of the biggest things about this car. It stops on a dime. When I let Tyler drive it recently, like literally just recently, and as soon as he hit the brake, it jerks you forward because it's just that quick of grabbing. And he can tell you himself, like it's amazing. Not to mention with the suspension, now that I'm pretty sure this one has the Magna Ride suspension, which comes in with the independent rear suspension. That makes a big difference for this whole, like I, I know the rear, the, the other cars, the 2012s and the older models were definitely made for a straightaway. They were made for hectic turning and that's why they weren't best and they slide out. But these S550s, amazing for handling. I've never felt something so smooth and with going 120 kilometers around corner pretty quick, I thought I would have slipped out. Not a chance. The fourth thing I love about this car is from stock, it sounds so nasty. Like I'm not lying, I didn't expect it to sound this good. How about them apples for a stock car, right? Nasty instant 
makes the sound. And it gurgles too. That's stock. That is stock. Definitely the fifth thing I love about this car is the cluster setup. So the reason I bought this premium, and now this being my summer car, it does come with the heated seats and all this extra stuff like a heated steering wheel. I'm, I don't really need that, to be honest, but it's only because of that cluster setup there. And it just, the colors, you can change all the colors, the, the outside ring, the, uh, the gauge there. So where the uh, speedometer goes, the green you can change those light up and it's just a part of the whole thing that really intrigued me for it now when you go through the modes it also changes the way the gauges are set up so that's the spore mode track mode drag mode see it changes everything and that's the one thing that i wanted for this car and the fifth thing i love about this car this is five things i love about my 2019 mustang gt premium all right guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a fat thumbs up comment down below and also hit that subscribe button tune in next week while we run through five things that kevin hates about his car i hate it <laughs> I hate it it's a love hate relationship all right guys peace out peace. and that is five things kevin hates likes <laughs> about my <laughs>